Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome to a brand new series for the channel. We're going to be playing Avorian. Avorian is a freeform, sandbox, space-based RPG with a strong emphasis on exploration and ship construction. Similar gameplay in a variety of ways to games like the X-Series or Freelancer. The most noteworthy difference, however, is the manner in which ships, stations, and fleets are constructed. You can build your spacefaring avatars from the ground up with materials harvested from all of your endeavors. Now, we did play this on stream this last weekend, and I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much that this, this game absolutely deserves its own series. So we're going to get started here. Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about the basics on this game, I, I highly suggest that you go check out the live stream that we did on uh, Saturday, this last Saturday. I will put a link to that in the uh, screen that you're looking at right now, somewhere over here, probably. And uh, otherwise, we're just going to get started. We're going to create a brand new galaxy. This is going to be a single player playthrough. This game does have multiplayer, but I prefer to play this single player for now. Just uh, because anything can happen in multiplayer, and I don't want that to interfere with my grand plan of taking over the entire galaxy. <laughs> I'm really excited to play this game, actually. I I don't know so much about it that, uh, that you know, uh, you know I'm not going to be surprised all the time, because I, I'm going to be totally surprised all the, all the time. Uh, there's just so much to learn here. The, the universe is absolutely massive like it's it's enormous ginormous like this is this is us here in this little tiny spot right here every single square here is uh, i don't know how what the distance is but this this galaxy is just filled with goodies with things that we we need to explore and exploit and fight and all those things that you do in a game like this now we start off with our little drone and our drone has some surprisingly awesome capabilities by comparison to you know even even after we build a ship there's gonna be some things that we're still gonna be using our drone our drone starts off with some really nice mining lasers and we're gonna be making use of those so at the beginning here we're gonna show you know a little bit of the mining we're gonna show a little bit of the uh, ship construction and then as time goes on and we kind of get used to the whole idea of what I'm doing I'm probably gonna skip some of the mining because there's I'm gonna be doing a lot of this kind of stuff and it probably won't be all that interesting as time goes on so I'm gonna skip Skip some of that and the shipbuilding we're gonna show of course we're gonna show the shipbuilding but as time goes on and we all get used to what I'm actually doing we're probably I'm, I'm definitely going to be fast forwarding some of the ship builds because it can take some time and I do get a little possibly over creative and you know I change my mind all the time in the middle of builds and then I it takes me a long time to build ships essentially is what I'm saying so for the first couple we will definitely show it but then after that I think we're gonna fast forward it fast forwards are always fun too so basically what we're doing we're starting off with our little drone our little drone has a little mining laser on it and the mining laser as I said is pretty darn good I don't know what the efficiency is on it I didn't even know maybe can we see it yeah we can so the mining drone starts with two mining turrets iron mining turrets whoops we kind of ch <laughs> chewed that chunk off and these mining turrets have an efficiency of 14% that means 14% of everything that we touch here we're gonna get so 14% of the iron we're going to get 14% of the iron out of this entire asteroid, which means, it, well, it's not very good in the grand scheme of things, but I think it's still better than the first mining lasers that we get when we start building our first ship. Oh, we get, let's make sure that we don't leave any of this iron behind. We probably left some behind already, but that's okay. So we, how much my iron are we going to be mining? Maybe just a little bit. You know, I'm going to grab about 2,000 iron, and then we're going to go start looking for some titanium. We are not going to build a ship right away because you don't need to. Uh, really, you start in a pretty safe zone. We are we are in uh, some kind of faction that we are friendly with. As a matter of fact, we can look at our factions. Uh, can we look at our factions right now? I'm not even sure how we do that. Player menu? No, no, no. Uh, galaxy map? No, 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 sorry. <laughs> Tutorial? I know there's a way to look. Not the player menu. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so diplomacy, we start in the Kyle. Kyla, I can't even pronounce her name, the K Syndicate. <laughs> and we start with relations of 75,000. So uh, that's really good. That's That means that they like us a lot and we're not gonna have run into any serious problems. We could get in the crossfire of some kind of big faction fight or something if we're not careful. And pirates can always appear in even these safe sectors as far as I know, pirates can still appear in these areas. But I'm not too panicked about that right now. We can always escape without any trouble. You can still warp with your drone. So if necessary, we can always escape this area. We're gonna do one more 
one or two more iron asteroids and then we're gonna move on we're gonna go try and find some titanium because uh yeah i've learned enough about this game now to know that building a ship out of iron is okay but titanium is generally pretty close to your starting zone. Sometimes you even find some titanium in your starting zone, and uh, you're probably better off building your ship with the initial resources of titanium, just because there's some things that you can't do in iron than you can do in titanium. So yeah, we're not gonna waste too much more time on this iron. We'll get, we'll, we'll grab this whole asteroid, I think. I think that's probably a good idea. So if you're new to Avorian, I highly suggest you go check out my live stream once again because uh, I did talk about some of the basics in this game now that doesn't mean I know everything about this game and you're gonna get everything you need out of that video because there's still lots I do not know as a matter of fact I haven't really played it all that much just enough to know that it's really fun and I really want to see what's possible in this game I know that you can have ships with fighters so you can have aircraft carriers oh that that really excites me you can um you can, of course, build ships to travel with you. You can build space stations. So we can build an empire. We can build a, an entire empire. What is that over there? Is that possibly titanium? I don't think so. I'm not seeing any titanium kicking around here. I just want to get a little bit closer to this one. Uh, that's a wreckage. No, that's too far away. No, I don't see any titanium kicking around here. So what we're going to do, rather than hang around here and build a ship, we're going to go to our galaxy map. So this is a galaxy map, and with every sector, you can see kind of what's in that sector, as long as you've already explored it, as far as I know. Um, you can see that there are 17, 1,710 asteroids in this sector. There is five, sta five ships five stations and zero wreckage so let's and you can see in the galaxy map see all these little green blinking blo blobs those are places where there's some kind of energy signature good or bad I, I think if it's i think if it's green that means it's good that means it's somebody that doesn't hate you now see this line here this is interesting so this is actually a warp gate we can actually take this warp gate and go deeper closer into the core so the closer we go into the core of the galaxy the better stuff we're going to find so if we take that warp gate there's a high probability that we're going to find possibly some better materials like titanium kicking around so the question is where is that gate so it should be marked it should have its own little thing on our hud here uh the question is where so we just gotta kind of look around a little bit so oh hold on there we go so northwest gate to the reservoir of punishment so yeah as i said these lines here are actually warp warp gate lines um sometimes you'll find even uh, wormholes which is really interesting but the warp gates uh they do cost generally they cost a fee so you can see down at the bottom right it says 89 dollars 89 credits to travel through that warp gate i think that is more than reasonable to get us closer we start off with 10,000 credits now credits can be used for a variety of different things even you can build at build your own uh, sorry buy your own randomly generated or procedurally generated ships from a from a from a uh, shipyard which is absolutely amazing and you can you can you can randomize it completely randomize it i love that you just give it a seed and say away you go you can decide what kind of materials it's made with everything and it'll actually build the ship for you now the quality of these quality of these ships that you can have constructed at these uh shipyards are questionable <laughs> think um they also kind of design them i mean the procedural generator doesn't really design anything that looks in i mean they look interesting but they don't they don't uh they don't appear to have my kind of style let's put it that way so they kind of all look very blocky and kind of unnatural <laughs> Well, actually, no, that's not true. They look very organic. So I guess you could say they look more natural. Whereas my ships will probably have more of a sleek or well-defined look overall. So let's get through this gate. Yeah, a little bit of little bit of waiting around for some of the things that we're going to have to do. But, you know, that's... I like, And as I said, as time goes on, we're going to skip some of that. Oh, here we go. Our first interaction with somebody in the universe. With a... With a with a poem, with a poem, the adventurer. Hello there. Are you off on an adventure too? Absolutely, we are. That's great. I'm sure we can help each other out. If there's anything you'd like to know, just ask away. Can you give me some tips? Of course, there's a reason I'm talking to this guy. He does actually offer us a little, a little tiny piece of equipment that can be a little bit helpful. So the closer you get to the center of the galaxy, the better the materials you'll find to build your ship. You'll be able to build energy generators or parts that protect your ship, like integrity blocks or even shield generators. The first thing you should do is find yourself some titanium. Iron is great to get yourself started, but titanium is lighter and you can build better parts with it. And be wary of the no man's space around here. 
here. I hear there's a pirate leader who terrorizes everyone who strays too far from civilized sectors. Let's talk about something else. I'm sure we can help each other out. Blah, blah, blah. Um, what's happening here? Now, yes, uh, 200 years ago, there was a cataclysmic ca catastrophe which ripped our entire galaxy apart. Everybody just calls it the event. Um, what happened? People don't know for sure, but the legend has it that the that an insurmountable ring of torn hyperspace fabric appeared around the center of the galaxy. Now, our hyperspace engines can't pass it to get to the center, meaning it's cut off from the rest of the galaxy. Since the event, nobody has managed to get near the center of the galaxy. The worst part is that the event also spawned hyperspace rifts throughout the galaxy, and we're going to get to see some of these hyperspace rifts, which are really cool, uh, which makes navigation difficult, which it does. <laughs> and then there's the Sotan. Uh, go on. Nobody knows who they are, and they don't answer any intercom calls. When you get too close to them, they start attacking. They've been around since the event, and some people say they were created by it. But there's also the bright side. Together with the event, new metallic element called Av Avoro Avorian has appeared. <laughs> I, I keep wanting to call it Avorian, but I think it's Avorian. So if I'm wrong about that, you can correct me, but I'm pretty sure it's Avorian. Uh, I've heard rumors that there's lots and lots in the, uh, of it in the center. Apparently, it's a perfect element for building spaceships. So, Av Avorian is also a building material in this game. It is the most advanced ma building material in this game. It's robust, it's light, it's and its energy properties are crazy. But so far, nobody has ever found much of it. I'm going to change that. I'm going to fly to the center of the galaxy. I'm going to overcome the barrier, and then I'll mine all the Avor Avorian I can find so I can get rich. Um, I wish you the best of luck on your journey. Thank you. You know what? Here. This is what I've been waiting for. Have this. It's an upgrade for your ship. It allows you to scan for hidden sectors. You have to install it on your ship, in your ship menu for it to work, but you can only install upgrades into a real ship. It doesn't work with drones or fighters. The green blips on your galaxy map are sectors where you can find interesting stuff, but there's also a lot of things that your radar can't pick up. With this upgrade, you'll be able to scan for those hidden secrets. Secrets They'll show up as a yellow blip on your map. Thank you! I'm sure we can help each other out. Is there anything? Okay, blah, blah. Goodbye! I'll be here for a while in case you want to talk. I don't think so. I think I'm pretty much done with you. And even if not, I'm sure we're going to meet again some other time. So maybe we will interact with him. Maybe as part of some kind of storyline, we're going to meet up with him near the core or something again. Who knows, right? So let's see if we can find some... Ah, I already see some titanium. Absolutely spectacular. Wonderful. So that is exactly what we're here for is to find more titanium so we're gonna get in here and there's you can see there's all sorts of docks there's some more gates out here it looks like somebody's actually fighting it looks like there might actually be some kind of faction war going on or something i don't know that i think this is a guy that we just talked to somebody's actually trying to shoot him what's interesting is if they kill him we can actually maybe go salvage some of his ship which is always fun and you can get some pretty decent stuff from salvage i mean as a matter of fact a salvaging is kind of a core element in the game so if you destroy somebody don't just leave make sure you salvage it now there are better ways to salvage than others there are salvaging lasers that you can get that I you either earn or buy and of course you can use those to break down ships a little bit faster and I think if you shoot ships with like chain guns and regular weapons you can actually get more modules out of them so this here is titanium we're gonna grab this we're gonna try and get a little bit more titanium than this this does this doesn't look like it's a lot or a great deal. Maybe there might be, looks like there might be some more in that other asteroid field right in front of us. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll check it out in a minute. So it does take a little bit longer to mine titanium, but it's absolutely worth it. So titanium, every material offers, um, of course, it's, is a little bit better, a little bit stronger and a little bit lighter. So on top of that, some materials, you can, you can't build certain things with some materials, whereas others you can. So with titanium, for example, we can build energy production modules on our ships. So, uh, or blocks whatever on our ships so it's definitely uh, really valuable to have this right away because energy is such it's so important in this game we're going to talk about that interface once we start to get our sh our first ship built and hopefully we can get that done in a relatively short period of time i just want to be sure that we have enough material uh, to get that started now as i said in the future going forward we're not going to be showing i'm not going to be showing all the mining i do i'm going to be doing a lot of off-camera mining because it's just obviously it's not the most interesting thing in the world i just figured i'd show a little bit of that off for now let's just take a quick look at this asteroid field i think that's pretty much it in here let's go check out this one see if there's anything else here otherwise we're just going to move on we're going to go to another sector and see if we can find anything more 
for titanium in another sector. Now, another nice thing about this little drone is it can pretty much, it, I think it can afterburn indefinitely. It has the power and resources to uh, afterburn nonstop and it really has no power problems whatsoever. Well, I guess that's not exactly true. You can see in the bottom there, it shows how much power we're producing. So that, uh, I don't know if I can do this while I'm still driving. No, I can't. So. If I'll just stop here. So this top bar is how much power we're producing. This is our battery power. This is how much power we have in our battery. And this is our hull. This is our hull integrity. So uh, it doesn't show that we're producing extra power, but maybe with the drone it doesn't. But we have a full battery. It maintains a full battery and we can afterburn pretty much nonstop. Now we're not, we don't travel as fast as I believe a regular ship does or is capable of. But uh, with that afterburner, it's almost worthwhile. So it doesn't look like I'm not seeing any more titanium over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep moving. We're going to go to the next sector. Um, we're not going to use the gates. We're just going to go to this one. This is a another uh, zone with some energy signatures, which means we're going to find some more, uh, some more of these stations and gates and stuff over there, possibly. So now that we're jumping again, we just... There we go. We're ready to go. So you have to wait for the jump to calculate. You have to make sure that you also have enough power in your jump battery here. So this is this is the uh, I call it the jump battery or whatever. So as, as you can see, it charges up and when it's full to, full up, you are able to jump as long as you have a target. So let's just take a look, see if there is any resources here. I see there's some asteroids over there. Uh, there's some asteroids over there. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing any titanium right off the bat, and I don't want to get too close to the center of the universe. Not, I mean, it would take us a really long time, actually, to get too close to the center of the universe. I'm not too worried about getting attacked and destroyed, as is the worst thing that can happen as a drone, is that you get attacked, uh, destroyed, and sent back to your home sector, but you get to keep all of your stuff. I think there might be a credit hit. I don't know. I don't even think there's a credit hit. So if you die as a drone, there's really very little consequence. So that's kind of a nice thing about doing this is that there's really, there's nothing to lose at this point. Um, I'm not seeing any titanium here and I don't want to spend all of this whole episode just flying to asteroid fields like this. So I think we're going to move on. We're going to move on. We're going to go over here. <laughs> As we're, eventually we're going to find a great little spot and there's, rather than trying to spend my whole day flying towards these zones, we'll wait until we're all charged up and ready to go. Let's see, jump route is calculated. I just want to get a little bit closer. I just want to see, I don't think there's, there might be, I don't know. Let's just go. <laughs> that shows you about the limit of my patience in, in any of these games. Whoops. Uh, space bar to jump. That's right. I would love to see a little jumping screen. Ah, here. We see we're nice and close to the asteroid field, and I already see some titanium over there. Um, let's see. Is there any... I see lots of iron. Lots and lots of iron. There's some more titanium over there. Definitely. So I'm really glad that I made that jump. That way... Uh, we just have less less distance to travel with this little ship before we find some titanium. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to skip ahead until I've actually mined all this, and I'll meet you guys back here in a second. Okay, so I've, I found three titanium asteroids, giving us a total of 1,405 units of titanium to work with. That should be enough, given that we want to keep our first ship fairly small anyway. So let's get that going. I did mine a little bit more iron, too, just in case. You know, iron is... <laughs> Iron is kind of a weak material. I mean, it's 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 a weak material and it's heavy. So we're gonna name our first ship the. This is this is going to be a uh, hmm, the the scatterbug. <laughs> the scatterbug. This every time we really make a big change in terms of our materials, we're probably going to rebuild a ship, like build a new ship overall, because it's actually a little bit easier. There are other ways to do it. However, there we go. There's our new ship. There it is. One big block. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So we can go B to build our ship and we can see that it's going to be facing this direction. So let's start like that. Now, I believe if this block here dies, you lose your entire ship. So it's important to make sure that you get some armor on top of it uh, as, you know, some front armor and stuff. We did experiment a little bit with ramming last time and that didn't go exceptionally well for us. <laughs> nope, not at all. Did not go well at all. So my, uh, of course, we're going to be using basic blocks. We're going to be using, I do like the edges. I like, I'm going to be using titanium engines. I'm going to try and try and build the ship entirely out of titanium, which is, means it's going to have to be fairly small. I also want to use these corners too. I'm going to like those. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's just replace everything on our bar with titanium for now. We're probably going to be using more titanium than anything else. We might as well keep that on here. Iron cargo bay. I'm assuming there's a titanium cargo bay. There we go. Uh, titanium energy that is the the energy container that's a battery and then we have the generator which is like a little 
uh, generator, <laughs> exactly what it says, and then the field generator, which is important for hull integrity. So let's get started here. We don't have a lot of time to actually build a ship now that we did all that other stuff, but we're going to do our best. So we're going to start off by putting some basic front armor in here, a nice big block of front armor, and then we're going to add some character. We can, I wonder if we can... So it's interesting, it costs us 500 iron, so the is the core always iron? That's interesting. It's interesting that the core starts off as iron. Then I think we're going to use the corner here. We're going to use the R button. We're going to rotate that a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of character. If we hold down the D button, we can expand that out like so. And I want to kind of... Yeah, I want to kind of actually bring that forward just a little bit. We're going to bring that down too. So if we use the A key, we can... No, that's, that's the wrong one. D, S. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Kind of like that. Um, actually, now that I think about it, if we make this a little bit bigger, there we go. We don't want it too big, like I said, because that's actually my biggest problem, is I end up making things too big, and then, and then of course, we don't have the materials to finish it, so something like that. Uh, perfect. That's exactly what I want. However, let's go into mirroring, make sure that we are mirroring both sides. There we go. That's nice. Very nice. Now, it's a little, it's a little bit bigger on the bottom, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to do that same block rotate it around and then kind of stick that right underneath like so oh that looks beautiful i love it very simple very but still elegant and uh, that's it that's about all the front armor we're going to put on that and what i'd like to do is add a one of these let's rotate this around i, I do kind of have you know a lot of times my ships kind of look similar because i like that sleek front end like that I, I just really like that that's it just looks so sharp Looks so nice. I, we're gonna extend this out if we can. So we're gonna, this is some top armor. We're gonna try and bring that out just a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Try and get that nice and centered. I don't want it going right up to the front though. I want it. Oh, it's not gonna let me do that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna add our crew quarters. So you need to have. Oh, I didn't actually add crew quarters to my to my thing here. Okay, so let's just grab them manually so you need to have crew on your ship to man the uh, to man the oh maybe i do have it yeah i do okay just crew quarters there we go so you need to have crew on your ship of course to uh man the different uh, e equipment on your ship without crew the ship doesn't work so we're going to go back to the, just the basic square here we're, so you can uh, you can do crew quarters in funky sizes and stuff i think i don't know uh we'll have to experiment with that one day uh let's turn off the mirroring for a second here no mirroring just because that's uh it's in my way, so let's make that a little bit smaller. So that's the thing with the, you have to have these modules, these types of things on your ship, and they are quite expensive, but, um, and your placement of them matters. So eventually all of this stuff will be in the center of the ship. Now you can see on the right side here, we've got some stats, and we now have uh, 16 available uh, spots for crew, which is wonderful. So crew quarter 16, so we can have 16 crew members. That should be enough to get us started. And then we're gonna we're gonna add some of that armor now. Let's get the armor that we wanted originally. Let's go. Let's bring. Hold on. Let's go. Extend this out like so. Perfect. Now you can save blocks. You can save ships. You can do all those things that you would think you could normally do on a uh, no that I don't like that let's bring it down just a little bit more it's a little too high I spend a lot of time making my trying to make my ships look nice <laughs> whether or not they do is is you know totally debatable I get that but uh, uh, I do try I do try to make them look nice and I want to do the same thing on the bottom to kind of protect the squishy bits on the inside let's rotate that around perfect try and try and mimic what we did on the last one on the on the top side there. We could have used the uh, different type of, we could use uh, Y, Y axis mirroring. That would have worked too. So that, that looks pretty good. I, I'm pretty happy with that. And we have lots of room for other modules too. So let's think about engines. So let's make sure that we're just gonna do the back end kind of blocky for now, because all of this is gonna get filled in with other modules eventually anyway. So let's go, let's go back to the blocks. Yes, like so. And we're gonna bring that down so it fits in that nice little if we can. I don't know if we can. There we go. Uh, not quite what I expected. Let's see if we can... Oh, I can't mimic... Oh, see, I kind of screwed that up already. You see that? Yeah, it's a little bit wider, but that's okay. We, uh, I will... That, we can add some, you know, interesting shapes to our engines then. So what we can do, we're gonna... So these engines can only be facing backwards, so we're gonna make these engines, of course, quite a bit smaller. Let's go to that one and shrink it down. Let's go to... 
that one, shrink it down, that should perfectly fit. Excellent, like that. And then we could do one big one in the center. Now it's better, I think, overall to make your engines, or to make your modules bigger. Bigger is better. You don't want them broken up like I've just done. However, <laughs> that does look kind of cool. I do like that. So now there's other types of engines. There's also the th thrusters. The thrusters allow you to stop and uh, maneuver your ship. So it's very important to have lots of these, especially in the front. Uh, we still have 774 titanium, so we're still in pretty good shape. Um, I'm going to add some more character to the front here eventually, but for now, I just want to keep it relatively simple. I think what we're going to do with this now is we're going to do... We're almost out of time. I just can't believe how much, how quickly time flies when I'm playing this game. So we're going to make this smaller. Hello, smaller. There we go. Using the W key, in case you don't know. Like I said, if, if you're curious about some of the basic controls, check out my, uh, my first video on this. I wonder... No, I'm not going to try and mess around with any of that stuff. I was going to see if I could make that a funny shape. The thrusters a funny shape. I think, I think, well, we do want some more thrusters, but these are going to be temporary for now. I just want to have more of these sort of on the side. And this is why I'm going to fast forward my builds in the future, because I do take a long time with this stuff. I recognize that. So we got, I should have just mirrored that. So let's, let's go back. Let's mirror this so it, we know it's in the exact same position. Perfect, like so. So a little blocky. I don't like blocky ships, but like I said, all of this is going to get filled in and we're going to build our the outer armor around that, right? So that should be good for thrusters. You can see here, well, maybe not. Our thrust is at 11.1. Uh, so maybe, I wonder what would happen if I brought that back a little bit. Would that make much of a difference? No, it wouldn't make... Uh, oh yeah, it would make a big difference. So if I bring this back further, you can see it affected our our yaw and pitch quite a bit. So our max velocity is only 46. We could add a couple more basic engines on the side here. Also gives it a little bit more flavor too. So let's bring these back a little bit. So we've got a couple... We'll do... We could do three engines just right around that... Uh, yeah, that looks kind of cool. I like that. That's great. So we're still only at 19.6 thrust, but I think that should be more than enough for now. I think we're pretty much set to go other than maybe some extra generators. And I'm just going to stick these anywhere for now. Like I said, we're going to have to rebuild this as time goes on anyway. This is something that maybe should have gone on the inside of the ship, but that's okay. We're going to do a couple there and we're going to do a couple there. And there we go. We've got our first titanium ship. I'm pretty pleased with it actually overall. Oh, I don't like the way those generators sit. That's okay. We don't have any time to mess around with it right now. We're done. I'm happy with our first little design. We're going to get this centered in our screen so that he's sitting nicely. We're going to get our weapon systems on, and then we're going to call it an episode. So as far as episodes of this game, I'm going to be doing uh, an episode probably a day. An episode a day for the, the next little bit because I it just because it's going to take a while to get anywhere. So I think, I think that's a really good idea. I actually like this ship. Ah, the splatter bug. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's get some weapons on here. Oh, right. We need to we need to dock at a station and then get some crew members. Is there a station nearby? There is. Okay, so let's go over here. Um, is that a station? No, that's not a station. Those are pirates. We actually don't have the crew to run guns right now. What is this? Asteroid. Whoops. That looks like a station, but I don't know that it is. It's a light miner. Oh, boy. <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't know if there's... Hold on, was there any stations in here? There was no stations in here. Let's go back to this sector. Pretty sure there was some stations in this sector. And then I think we're pretty much going to have to call in an episode. But like I said, we'll be back and we'll be doing this just about every day. We're going to be fast forwarding some of this other stuff. What is that? Is that a planet? Looks like a planet, hey? Yeah, that looks really cool in the distance. It looked... I, for a second, I'm like, wow, that's a new material. <laughs> I don't think so. Let's go grab some crew really quickly. Man, I, I'm, I'm trying to keep these episodes, I'm going to try and keep these episodes around 20, 25 minutes, but that's going to be tough. There's just, you know, there's so much to do. Okay, I'll skip ahead here. Okay, before I talk at the station, a small correction to what I had said earlier. The top bar here is how much energy we are producing, or sorry, using at any given time. So right now we're using a quarter of our power. If I use my afterburners, of course, that goes up a little, that goes up substantially. And of course, if we go up to the top of that bar, we'll start using our battery power. So that's how that works. Okay, so we're going to dock at the station, hopefully, without uh, hurting ourselves. Now, what's interesting about the station that we found, this is a turret station. So they actually sell turrets, and you can sell custom-built 
built turrets so you can decide you know whether you want you want a salvaging later laser a mining laser a chain gun a bolter and of course you can choose a rarity and then some of the stats of these weapons and then just pay credits and buy it, turrets outright i love it i love it we're gonna have to make note of this station but for now all we want is we want to hire some crew so our ship will run efficiently so we're gonna hire i think we can hold what 8 16 or something i don't know i don't remember hold on let's uh 16 i think is what we can have now we're almost out of credits because it did cost us a bunch of credits of course to build the ship so we're gonna hire those guys we're gonna go to our ship panel and we're going to auto assign our crew so as you can see we've got some crew in mechanics we've got some crew in engineers now if we want we can over crew areas so engineers maintain and run all technical blocks on your ship the gunners operate armed turrets the miners operate mining turrets the mechanics the mechanics repair your ship and and uh, cannot rebuild destroy blocks but they will slowly repair your ship if you get damaged and we're damaged somehow i don't know how that happened i must have nixed something uh pilots fly fighters yes of course you can have fighters in this game probably the the one thing that i'm the most interested in i can't wait to try it security uh will defend your ships against borders so boarding is a thin thing then you've got your borders and then you've got your sergeants lieutenants commanders generals and captains uh these sergeants of course for every 10 crew member you have on your ship you have to have a sergeant uh stuff like that it's it's we'll figure it out and all of those get a certain amount of money per hour. <laughs> So you do have to be cautious with how many crew members that you have assigned. Um, but anyway, guys, that's all I have time for. We're going to talk more about crew and stuff next time. Maybe even if we can buy a turret. I don't know that we can. But we do have a turret, a couple turrets that we start with. And we've got this module that we just got, too, from the, the guy in space. So <laughs> anyways, I hope to see you on episode two. Take care. Bye-bye.